on the day that Jeremy went to VidCon, I almost broke up with him. I truly almost broke up with him. By the way, this is news to me. Yeah. Let's go home. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. We are one episode away from 98 Degrees, our favorite pop band of all time. Were you a 98 Degrees or an InSinker? I was an InSinker. I have to sneeze. Please hold. Oh, God. This is good luck, though, for our episode. Start. Strong start. Maybe not in the mic. <laughs> not. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's like you want to break that mic. Anyway, welcome back to the number one 98 Degrees fan podcast in the world. Wild till nine. I had the 98 degrees uh, uh, CD. Wild till 98 degrees. Yeah, wild till 98 degrees. What is Nick Lachey's brother's name? Colin. Nick, very close. What? Nick's, Nick, Nick's brother. Nick's brother's yes. name is Nick. No. no what? Like, what is, it's Drew. It's Drew? Drew? Yeah. Lachey? Yeah. I'm like the 87% sure. Let's find out. Drew oh, Lachey. Drew Lachey. Holy that. shit. How did you know that? Well, he's got a lot of siblings. One, two, three, four, five. I met him once. Wow, a family of six. Yeah. Yeah. He was just the host of a show that I watched. Drew Lachey? What? Or Nick? Nick. Oh, Nick stays hosting. Yeah, no, yeah, no. He was he was really good. Nick and Vanessa were the hosts of uh uh Love is Blind. Love is Blind? No, the ultimatum. The ultimatum. Nothing will top newlyweds for me, but that could be a close fourth. I mean, I mean it was a classic. It Have you really, ever like, like you know how like some yes. content stands at like the test of time? It doesn't. <laughs> it does not. I go back and I watch that and I go, was I that bored? Yes. Uh, obviously. No, but that was also prime TV. Pri prime TV? That was prime television you're, you're, of its time. Your throat or stomach over there is having a day. I know, I, I'm making a lot of sounds, yeah, gotta be are. honest. It's, yeah. it's a lot going on. Uh, you know what it is? Is that I'm still coming off of the head cold that Jeremy brought back, luckily, and uh, very happy to say it and to report that it was not COVID, but Jeremy did bring back something fun for me from New York and it wasn't a fun souvenir. It was a fun souvenir in the form of an I Heart New York cold. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, do you think that we could do a newlyweds themed episode? Oh, I this I feel like every episode is like that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like what what changes? What what's different? Yeah, no, there's not much to change. Yeah, there's yeah. not it's not that's not that different. Well, anyway, uh stop Drop, roll, rate the pod. Welcome back. Welcome back. I it's been like we haven't recorded in forever, it feels like, because like Jeremy did an episode two days later. I did wait, no. I haven't done one in weeks. It's been it's, it's been, been a weeks. Long time. It's long been time. weeks because the last episode was Remy, Ollie, and I, and you mm, were gone. Yep. And then that was ahead, and so okay, we're being we're being dramatic. We went one week out without recording, but it feels like a long time. <laughs> it's been two weeks because normally I feel like we we like debrief on like what happened in our lives, and we didn't debrief. We didn't debrief. We haven't talked to each other in two weeks. We haven't talked to each other in two weeks. So our, our therapy you, session that is Wild Till Nine is now. Yeah, is right now. Welcome, <laughs> buckle up. It's been a while, a couple of weeks. It's been, yeah, we, literally we were like, okay, let's go through our calendar day by day. What the fuck have we been doing for the last couple of weeks? It's been a lot of a lot. It's been a lot of a lot. I went from here to New York, New mm -hmm. York back to LA, LA to Toronto all mm -hmm. in a week. Mm -hmm. Not the most ideal of travel schedules. Not the most ideal. Brought back a fun souvenir, but that wasn't COVID. But everyone that I was with on my team got COVID. Also everyone at VidCon has COVID. And I somehow, cockroached myself out of that scenario once again. I don't I don't know. I think you just like have the blood tape. Like I know that there's like something about different people that like just don't, you're just in that category. You and Remy just like refuse to get COVID. I, I've, it's not that for a lack of what, what could be perceived as nearly trying. Uh, truly. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Truly. And yeah, fortunately I have you to shove a Q-tip up my nose every <laughs> sniffle that I come back with. Yeah, just like that. So I came back from New York and I did a little stint over at VidCon. And then honest, I, on the day that Jeremy went to VidCon, I almost broke up with him. I truly almost broke up with him. By the way, this is news to me. Yeah. So there was phase one and two of this. Go ahead. Um, phase one is that Squish Malone's was doing an activation at okay. VidCon. And it was the, you know, you know that I almost broke up with you over this. This is not, this is not news to you. You've broke, you've almost broken up with me for, for far less. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So Squishmallows had this activation where they, um, they I don't know who their marketing team is or like their activations team, but that was the most genius. Well, what was it? It, 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 was, it was basically, it was basically- And for, the, for those that are uninitiated, what is a Squishmallow? Squishmallows are the most elite plushie. They are the softest, the squishiest. I should be getting paid for this because say, this is, yeah, this is the, this is, I will say I have a great working relationship with the Squishmallows team and I'm a big fan of them. And I don't have they, a great working relationship with them. With the Squishmallows team? Yeah, yeah. it's because you wouldn't go to the activation. You wouldn't go to the human claw Squishmallow. Wait, they didn't pit. invite me. 
Yeah, I, you were gonna go on my behalf. They said they were gonna set aside rare Squishmallows for me. It, did they not just send them to you? No. I had to go retrieve them? You had to go retrieve them. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, so what they did is like, so basically like take the nostalgia of Toy Story with the aliens and it being like, the, the claw. <laughs> And Come just on. like a pit of squishmallows, and they basically like like tied you up, and you were the human claw, and they like dumped you into. So you became the claw. You became you were the claw. But, okay, so, and then you just like were just jiggling around. Well, I saw a bunch of different TikTok videos. Say something TikTok. Yeah. And it was uh like you were only allowed to grab one, so they kind of like dunked you in. You got to like kind of like ruffle around, and right. then pick which one you wanted. But I did see one guy. That seems like a who, a health. Um, it doesn't seem dissimilar to a ball pit type of type right, of germ situation. Right, a post COVID ball pit. Right, mm. right, right. It only lasted three days though, and no one, to my knowledge, was actively like peeing and throwing up and stuff in there. Actively, to your knowledge, to my knowledge, they didn't share that part. To my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, this looks like my fucking nightmare. Ugh. Anyways, it was my dream, and they told me that they were going to be doing it. They told me that they were going to be there. They said they would set aside rare squishmallows. And it would be weird for me to be as into this as you are. I got to be honest. I mean, yeah, for sure, but like. The red, big red flag. A minor red flag. No, I just need your acceptance and on your support. On day one, if I, no, no, no. On date number two, when I came over. <laughs> and by the way, I'd love to know how many, like, I wish that we could see the prep work that you did before I came over. I want to see what Squishmallows went away. I didn't I have a Squishmallow see. before you. You are the era of the Squishmallow. What? Yeah. Congratulations. What, what were the, 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 the stuffed animals you had all over the place? I don't know. Just other ones? Just random pillows? With faces? Yeah. There was no brand? Um, I mean, some of them have brands. You had a thing with a brand. Uh, I mean, seal. like, uh, Seal is- And for those who don't know, Lauren names every single one of her stuffed plushy thingies. But I will say, I'm better at naming- <laughs> I was like, I know where we're going. Her pillows than she is. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I stand by that. I, yeah, no, no, I-, I We have, so. what, uh, Gully, the Gully, alligator? Gully, the alligator. We've got Pierre, not sure where that one came from. We've got, what else? I think when you threw up Pierre and I was like, oh yeah, great name. I, I think didn't that, know what in I was that, doing. In that moment, you were like, oh no, no, we're actually gonna take these. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I didn't know it was gonna stick. And so it stuck. Yeah. And so it stuck. Anyway, so I almost broke with Jeremy because he wouldn't go get my, he wouldn't go pick up my rare Squishmallows. And so that was part one of almost breaking up with that and day. Quick, I didn't, I wasn't stopping what I had to go do. Yes to find a completely other area right? to go strap myself to a human claw for any person to stand no, a no, picture you of. Didn't even, you didn't even have to get into the claw. You could have just been like, hey, I'm Mr. Lord DIY. What, what, and what if I had walked up and said, hi, my name is Mr. Lord DIY. Yeah. Um, I feel like you have a package for me. And they said, we sure do hop on up there. Yeah. <laughs> then I would expect you to hop right on <laughs> up there and be like, I am Jeremy the clown. I thought it was Mr. Lord DIY. I am Mr. Lord DIY, the clown. Okay. So anyways, um, that was part one of I was breaking up with Jeremy. Part two was at 10 p.m. the day before I was supposed to leave for Canada. Uh, we couldn't find Jeremy's passport. And so we are ripping apart this house. Jeremy's <sighs> tearing his office apart, like paper by paper, folder by folder. <clears throat> And it, it wasn't good. It was, it was just like, it was mass chaos because normally I feel like when you go on work trips or like fun trips, literally whenever you travel, you have a day to like come home and die. You didn't get a die day. And not to mention, I like to get things organized before I leave. Right. I'm actually pretty good about getting like things caught up before. Yeah. I, I don't like to leave. The thought of leaving the house in a nightmare. Right, in chaos. And then you just have to deal with it for a week. I, it makes me uncomfortable. Same. <laughs> Same. Right. Yeah. It's I, very, that's not my ideal. No, because like that, that sucks. <laughs> like it's one thing to have, like if your job is to like be in and out and like when you get back, you have a, a short turnaround time, you gotta mm -hmm. have to like be mm -hmm. like proactive. And so I try to take care of things. And this was like, how do I rip every inch of this place up so that I can leave? And so like my office won't be put back together for three more weeks. I could feel it. Oh, hundred percent. Until I yeah. need to go no, like, no, it's not. leave. Yeah. It's just everywhere. It's gonna just it's be- It's a nightmare. Like yeah. Yeah. So two hours, um, this was this was kind of like the span of like our four hours from about 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. 10 till midnight, we ripped apart the house. Room by room, we're like, where would even be just like a stupid place that like, is it in the butter drawer of the fridge? Like, like what fucking stupid place could this passport be? We went room by and room. Real quick for everyone who was wondering, it's, it wasn't in the butter drawer. We, we looked, it we, wasn't we, there. We looked, we looked, we looked well, in every spot. The problem with the passport is, and maybe people can relate to this, maybe like they can't. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that you hold on to mm -hmm. always. Yes. And there's certain things that yes. I hold on to always. Like there's keeper of information, keeper of yes. things, keeper of yes. whatever. Passports, because 
because you have a visa briefcase. Folder situation. With like yeah. documented evidence of every time you've, you know, took a shit. Uh, I am an alien and it is very difficult, even though I'm a legal alien that's allowed in this country, they give the legal aliens a hard time every time. You're what, yeah, legal alien. I'm a legal alien. You're not a resident? No. And you're not a visitor? No. And you're not a mail order bride? No. <laughs> Depends on anyway, For the right green yeah. card. Anyway, so you you keep the passports and things. And I usually, so like I have the Vax cards yep. and I usually have the passports. Yep. And I do want to say that I had a big brain energy moment. Big brain, lots of folds. Big brain, lots of folds at 12 p.m. You go. 12, 12, oh God, big brain, lots of folds, 12 a.m. Yeah. Nice. You go, maybe, may, maybe it's in the car. I was like, what about the glove box? Sure enough. And God knows how long it had just been floating around in your glove box. I don't use my glove box. So I, I, like, I don't like, I've got a lots year? of dumb shit in my car. Like I've got snacks, I've got Kleenex, I've got uh, the things that you're supposed to have, well, like your registration. Ripped apart everything. I'm like, I'm looking through tax documents of like 2017 mm -hmm. and, and which is great that I found those. That's, that's nice. That's right. Not, not where the passport was. No. So we, we finally found it. Found and the passport. about the time we found it, I was starting to feel Real bad. bad. Real, Real bad. bad. Yeah. Real bad. And everybody on my team is like, I have COVID. I have COVID. I have COVID. Like every person that I'd been with in New York mm -hmm. for a week straight was like, we all now have COVID. And I was like, great. So I was like, maybe we should just schedule a test tomorrow in case this $13 thing from Amazon wasn't 100% ideal. Right. Because Jeremy was testing negative on a rapid test. And yeah. so I was like at 2 a.m. literally scheduling PCR. And like, thank fucking God that now you can get a PCR test result in like an hour now. Yeah. It was truly magical. And so anyway, so we, 2 a.m. Solved the, the passport crisis. Solved the passport crisis. Even and though then, about an hour before I was like, I think I can leave the country without a passport. But it would just, it, I, it would be risky. It, It'd be risky. It would. And so then the COVID crisis mm. uh, was not solved until about eight in the morning. We would have, we got our results before we would have had to leave for the airport, which was good. It timed out well. Yeah, it was, it was good. Our flight got delayed an hour. And that is, that is, that is one of the only times that I have rejoiced for a flight delay. Yeah. No, it was like delayed. And I was like, thank God. But you know, we needed that. We needed that hour. We did. We, we needed that hour so we bad. We needed that hour. Uh, and no COVID. I don't know if people remember this, but like at Christmas, we had our Christmas plans canceled because I got COVID. Like the day before. Like the day before mm -hmm. I tested positive for COVID. And um, so Jeremy hasn't been back to see my family in two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. Christmas of 2019. Really? Yeah. Because it would have been December, I right? I was full of youth then. Yeah. Oh my God. I was, a, I was but a wee child. A wee small boy. And now- well, big child. Big, big okay. child, yes, more wrinkles. But we were thinking like, and like the irony was not gonna be lost. You know how like when something's going so poorly and you can almost feel it. You're like, if it's gonna go poorly, this, oh, was, this would be how it's going to go. It was unraveling. It's almost Everything. like, I'm for, I for sure have COVID. Like, yeah, you, I for sure. I don't even feel that bad. Passport's gone, good. you have COVID. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everything. It was like, I'm yeah. not supposed to go. Right. No COVID. No COVID? Got my ass on the plane. I'm not kidding. The fact that we made it to Toronto, like the, the odds were not in our favor no. and our flight day, so smooth. Ish. Ish. We got there with a little. Uh, oh, yeah. It was fine. It was, it was okay. It I, was okay. Ask, I think Air Canada, one of my least favorite organizations in the world. Right. But our favorite organization to get from America to Canada. Yeah. Well, <laughs> for now. <laughs> Don't have a ton of choices. No. It's um, not. So, home time was great. Spent some time with family. It was good. We did an escape room with family. Um, our team did, in fact, lose. I'm not thrilled about that. I'm also not thrilled about that. I am a competitive ass bitch. Lauren and I, could you think that you could be with somebody who's not competitive? Um, I could be with someone who is not competitive if they were down to still be as involved and supportive as they needed to be. Like if we were doing an escape room and they were down to like execute efficiently. Right. And they, but they don't care about winning, but they're down to like work hard. I'd be okay with that. Like but if like, they were like, they just, if they were just like gonna be in the escape room, like fucking around the whole time, I'd break up with them. Right, okay, but like, you know how we, we can just get competitive about stupid things? Yeah. And the other person will listen and understand. Yeah, and be like, right, yeah, for sure. Right. Like, what if I was, you know, you would tell me about something you wanted that was irrational, mm -hmm. uh, not that you would ever do this. And I just said, yeah, but like, it's not really a big deal if, if you win, right? And I just didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Would that weigh on you? I think it would only weigh on me if it was like condescending. You know what I mean? Where, where if you were like trying to make me feel stupid for no. feeling so competitive about it. I think, I don't think it'd be stupid. I think it even, oh God. <laughs> Devin, how did you even find that? 
Oh, did I post that? Who posted that? Someone did on the Discord. Yeah. I think my oh, you know what? My cousin, my cousin posted. Yeah, those are also, losers, right? What there. is it that we're Us. looking at? We're we're looking at the losing team on the right side, yeah. um, which consists of mom DIY, dad DIY, Mr. Lord DIY, Jeremy, and me. And I'm then so much larger than everybody. I know. You're you're so much larger and you're still on like the like perspective wise. The girl who took this photo really did my left side of the family really dirty because like the perspective of everything is not great. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's like true. when you're really close to the camera and then it's like angled and then you look much larger than everyone. Yeah, because I look pretty like pretty slim and trim. You look slim and trim. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. And it's it's Because I am. Because you are slim. Next and trim. topic. wireless providers forget that families come in all shapes and sizes. That's why Mint Mobile decided to shake up the wireless industry with their brand new modern family plan. Each line starts at 15 bucks a month. You only need two lines to get started. No matter how big or small your family is, you deserve to save on your wireless service. Phone plans can be so expensive and families really do come in all shapes and sizes. And some just include little, small, little piglet, egg, ewer, donkey, bubbies. I've spent well over a hundred bucks a month on my cell phone plan for as long as I can remember because I like unlimited everything and I like my speed. I don't know how Mint Mobile figured out how to do everything I was used to getting for years and years and years and fit that into a 15 buck a month plan, but I can assure you I am never going back to another carrier after feeling and seeing just how good the results can be for a fraction of the price. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family and at Mint, family start at just two lines. All plans come with an unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Plus, Mint Mobile's modern family plan lets you mix and match data plans so everyone gets the amount of data that's right for them. Moose would like to submit his request to have um, a little bit more data on his. I, I know that you don't really use data and I don't really use data, but Moose, Moose has some um, some requests for his for his side of the Yeah, it's a questionable search history yeah. we're gonna talk about. <laughs> Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the Modern Family Plan, go to mintmobile.com slash wild. That's mintmobile.com slash wild. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash wild. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Did you know how we care for our minds affects how we experience life? So it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. A healthy brain leads to a happy life, but it requires putting some work in and making sure you're taking care of it. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. I love a good power nap. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I know for me, BetterHelp has been a huge factor in keeping my brain as healthy as it can be, feeling good. And also I, I, still, I still love a nap. I just feel like the power combination of a power nap and BetterHelp is the, is the actual winning combination. Being able to talk to someone when I need to right from the comfort of my own home has been such a help in working through my anxiety. I highly recommend for any Tillys looking to talk to someone and keep that brain healthy. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash WT9. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash WT9. Yeah, so um, as far as Canada goes, mm -hmm. I think it was a, a success. Wild success. The only thing I don't understand there is just how like internet works. It, no, that wasn't that wasn't a Canada thing. That was a Rhea Mackey household thing. My favorite thing is that <laughs> because obviously everyone's remote always yeah. now, so like everyone's just like used to you know the remote internet woes, and so like we've got a pretty robust setup at our house. It's we have better Wi-Fi and internet than most corporations do. Yeah, well, we have like literal enterprise. Yeah, we have things. literal internet. Yeah, and so and we have like a backup to the backup to the backup to the backup because like we both need the internet to make a living. Mm -hmm. And I'm not t I'm not kidding. I was, when I started to get like towards the end of the day and like you guys would be like, we're gonna drink and eat and things. <laughs> and like, you have the choice of like, well, I'll stick around with the last couple of calls or like, you know, let's, let's see if we have a decent excuse. And I remember one time I was just like, oh, yeah, hey guys, sorry, I'm in Canada. Connect <laughs> connections are tough. And they go, totally good. <laughs> and like, no one pushed back for even a moment with the fact that like, wait, Canada doesn't have 
like internet internet like i literally every single person so i'm in canada this week it's tough <laughs> it's tough to get a connection oh everyone just God. immediately goes oh totally it's like it's like i this, think i'm mildly offended by that i, I think you should mm-hmm. no no one there was not a mo- no one stuck up for canada in fact there was there was people that are from canada like we get it yeah, yeah. i get it i understand yeah i mean listen there's a lot of rural areas across canada I would say mo- majority of Canada probably has shitty internet. And Canada's huge though. It, that's what I'm saying. Canada's huge. Second largest country in the world. Oh my God. According to Harvard, Canada has some of the lowest internet standards <laughs> among, <laughs> wow. As a result of high oh costs God, and so slow insane. internet speeds. Oh my God, uh, that's Rogers, so Bell, funny. Kojiko, looking at you. Kojiko? Yeah. Kojiko? You know what it is? Kojiko. Guess what I said, Kojiko. I like Kojiko better. It's Bell, Rogers. Cute. Rogers. Yeah. I feel like half my graduating class works at Rogers now. I, well, good for them. Yeah, good for them. Um, so Canada was a, a wild success. We made it back in one piece. Everything went as smoothly as it could have gone. You're missing out one of the biggest points and biggest pieces here. What was it? What is it? On the day of our return. Yeah. Now, Lauren, I would give her a D minus usually when it comes to travel. This trip, B plus. Me? Yeah, you nailed it. Thank you so much. Of course. And I would give myself a- <laughs> I would do this, was, yeah. Mm. I was like, this story doesn't end with just like a, a mild compliment a to plus. me. No, no, like I'm, I'm not stranger to navigating airports. In fact, I pride myself in being pretty aware. Right. But on this trip, this specific trip, right? we noticed that we didn't have a plane on the way back. <gasps> oh my fucking you're, you're just, God. You're obviously forgetting <sighs> this. So there was no plane. Like we looked at the plane that was supposed to, we were supposed to like go back on, yes. never left from Texas. Right. We right. didn't have that our flight turn got, That flight got canceled. But the flight was still ish on yeah. time, like yeah. an hour, yeah. two hours late. Yeah. And so we took turns kind of like walking over to see our little area. Okay, are things boarding? What's going right. on? Because the, the app gave us no notifications. Uh-huh. And we noticed no plane, no plane, no plane. Five minutes before we were supposed to, we were supposed to have taken off, zero plane, no movement. Mm-hmm. And maybe an hour later, I was sitting there working. Lauren was passed out like, like, you know, into her arm, like when you like- It was like in, it was like in school when you yeah. sleep on the desk that I was on that. On I was like, like Lauren, you like lift your face up and just like one big crease. And I was like, can you do me a favor? Can you go check to see what's going on? See if we've been playing yet. Uh-huh. Thinking we have hours to go. Mm-hmm. I, Lauren leaves, comes back and I could see the panic in her eyes. I was running. Sprinting. I was, I was that person. I was literally that person totally. sprinting. We- Somehow went from no plane to everyone is on the plane. Except for us. There was no notification. The board, the doors are closing now. And I would have had to be the person who was at the airport three hours early with all my shit through customs, through security and just missed my plane because I didn't know it was boarding. And so that was our reminder for lesson that maybe sometimes it is okay to sit at the gate. Sit at the gate and you also know, and not it, trust it was, it was you know, modern stand, technology. It was stand at the gate right. and not trust modern technology. Well, the problem is Lauren is so annoyingly famous in Canada. We go anywhere in America, it's you know, one or two people, a picture, whatever. For whatever reason, every time we're in Canada, uh-huh. it's, it's no. a, a fucking step and repeat with, for every 13 seconds. So it's, it's, so, it's so hard to get places. What does this look? I was gonna say, I really feel like I met so many people who like knew or just like were uh, pod, pod listeners. They, most of them were. Yeah, most of them were. Like, the, I feel like it's so the many people- It's pod listeners. It's those. <laughs> it's, it's those are it's the ones. It's that species. No, no, no. It's, um, it's the, my favorite person in the world, which is like a, a gaggle of girls who walk up and tell Lauren how much they used to listen to her and how the, they used to be interested. Oh, man. And how she was a part of their life and how the, she used to be entertaining. I just go, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like, I want like, I wish that like, you could like, like rephrase that to somebody else and be like, yeah, I'm like, you used to be, you know, interesting to me too. It's like, it's like if I went up to like, if you went up to, I mean, you know, and the thing is, is that like, I don't, I don't blame them at Go all. off sis, go ahead. And I'm, I'm so grateful to have been part of their life, <clears throat> life, lives, <clears throat> life. Go on. But like, I think about if I were to like see Spice Girls, like I would probably use past tense as well too, to be like, oh my God, I loved you guys. Like I went to your concert, I had your CDs. Like I would probably use past tense, but now like being on the receiving end of that, like sometimes it really hurts my feelings and I'm like, damn, I feel old and fucking washed up and all. I don't know, maybe it's because I've seen you deal with that or maybe yeah. like, I feel like I've seen this enough with my friends. Mm-hmm. When I compliment somebody that's like, whether, you know, even if there was back in the day, yeah. I will tell them like, especially if it's a musician and be like, by the way, that song fucking slaps. Present tense. Present tense, present tense. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I genuinely don't think like 
if I hadn't been on the receiving end of that, like, I don't think people would think about that. Well, we're, we're educating a half million people right now. We are educating. If you ever see us, yeah. tell us that Wild Till 9 tense. is really entertaining It's really today. good now, And then right tell now. Lauren, like, she used to be interesting. Yeah. Like, uh, what, what, did, what was the word that someone used that one time? Oh, you're, you're a legacy. Legac you're a no. legacy. Wasn't it a legacy? Legacy? Legendary? Legacy? Le le you were legacy? Legacy? Achiever? That's like, like Betamax. T cassette tapes. I know. <laughs> like VHS. bear wear, bear share. Those are those Love are bear legacy. Share. Big yeah. bear share fan. Big. Were you LimeWire or bear share? I was LimeWire. I was a bear share kind of. Where person. Were you? I was yeah, a Yeah, I was big on mm. bear share. Anyway, I digress. Point is, we had that happen about nineteen times in a row. I was like, do you want to like go like find yeah. a corner we can like get something done? And it wasn't standing at our gate. And then we almost were our flight. permanently in Canada. Yeah, yeah. What almost... if we get to, like? Do they just replace our tickets for free, or are we buying new tickets for that? I feel like if you fuck up, like, and you're an idiot, and you've been checked in just, for four hours, I feel like that's a new ticket on you. Expensive. That mistake. would have been super expensive. Yeah, yeah. But we're back. Anyway, we made it back, and uh, we had a little Fourth of July party the other day. We had a big Fourth of July. It was a good time. It was a good time. Yeah. And to be honest, we are not celebrating America right now. Uh, so we on. are having, it was a celebratory pool party celebrating our friendship and sun. Celebrating the beginning of July. And we are celebrating the beginning of July because uh, we don't have autonomy over the women's bodies in the world right now in America. We do not stand for that, Jeremy. Woo! Why are you lecturing me? We are not because I the, straight, the I'm, straight men. I'm, I'm, I'm not on the Supreme Court. <laughs> Thank you, Devin, for your support. Woo! Thank you, Devin. Woo, ally, woo, woo, woo. woo. Give me an ally. Give we only need ally, a woo, Jeremy. I know, give me you know a woo. You know what, babe? We're not having sex until <laughs> everyone can be safe. Ooh. Um, yep, no more sex. I don't It's done. Know. We're over. No more. The good news is that- No you, more straight sex. No more straight sex. <laughs> no more straight sex. <laughs> Devin, <I> feel, woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! No more straight sex until everyone can feel safe. <laughs> um. Anyways, so- yeah, we're not celebrating America. Celebrating? We're not celebrating America. No, we're not. No, we are not celebrating America. But we did celebrate the beginning of July with some good friends yesterday. Yeah, we did. Got yeah. a little toasty. I'm not kidding. I went back to my friend Aspen's photo of what she looked like when she was 36, 36 weeks pregnant. Okay. Because I was so insanely bloated last night. Like it was, it was shocking. And so anyway, so I screenshotted a picture of what Aspen looked like at 36 weeks pregnant. And I took a picture of myself and sent it to me and you will never see this photo ever. This will not go on the screen. I just want everyone to be very clear that this will not see the, the, the light of day. And did Aspen look less bloated than yeah. you? I looked more, I, I had twins. Aspen just had one baby at 36. We were both 36 weeks pregnant, but I had two twins. One's name was Ramen and the other's name was Crumble Cookie. Oh yeah, you went you you really hit the crumble cookie kind Holy of thing. Holy shit, the crumble cookie situation is so crumble went viral on TikTok. And like they're also a chain. They're not just like like one random small spot. Like they're okay. they're a chain across the country, I think. Okay. And they do Is it C R U M B L? C R U M B L. Got it. And they have the most insane cookies. Oh my God. And so the flavors change every week. And so hang on, I need I need to just they have an app. Don't worry, I have the app. But I'll give you I'll give you the rundown of what the flavors are this week because it is next level. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, we've got the milk chocolate chip cookie, which is insane. Oh my god, this is like porn. Yeah, it's it's kind of uh, like that's did, the one that you tried. Was there a concept morning on here? Oh my god. Oh my god. For the audio listeners, we're just watching cookie What's porn the, right the now. What's the term for <sighs> when you're sexually attracted to baked goods? Oh my god. Mm, American pie. Oh Keep going. Oh god. So we've got uh, the milk. We had the milk chocolate chip, which is the classic, obviously. Uh, the birthday cake, patriotic. Except we are not patriotic on this Fourth mm. of July. Um, but I do love a birthday cake flavor cookie. Okay. Apple pie. Did you try that one? No, everyone ate them quickly. That was fucking insane. It, it literally, do you like apple pie? Holy shit. Do I like apple pie? What am I fucking? Well, you don't like lemon meringue pie, so I don't know. Can't okay, trust though, you. That's two very different things. Both good pies. Lemon meringue. Lemon meringue pie, it that's, slaps. That's C grade desserts. That's fucking offensive. Apple pie is, did you have a grandmother? What if my grandmother made lemon meringue did pie? Did she? Yeah. Nana? Yeah. Nana, Nana, Nana came out slapping with the lemon meringues. Okay, well, my grandmother made apple pie and I said, keep the lemon stuff in the fridge. Okay, I am I, I, I will eat pretty much any pie. Well, crumble's everywhere. We had, wow, crumble is really, wow, they're crushing across America. Uh, the s'mores brownie cookie was insane. The blue raspberry icy cookie, we didn't actually order because it looked a little too weird. That's, a, that's like a third grader special. Yeah, it's like a third grader special, yeah. which realistically we would probably love because we eat like yeah, third true. graders. And okay. then there was a cornbread cookie, which is, um, I I feel like I was not 
subject to the cornbread situation at all until I moved to America. It's um Canada doesn't quite cornbread like the states does. I I gotta be honest, that's a it's a character flaw on Canada's part. I totally agree. Yeah, no, completely agree. There, and there's a lot of ways to do cornbread well. I think there's better ways than others. Okay, but you can do a, a pretty wide variety. Throw your own little flair in there. Uh-huh. Although I don't like the cornbread that has like spicy things in it. That's what was. That's what we had yesterday at the barbecue. No, but yeah, the but, jalapeno one. Yeah, but there was another cornbread. Oh, there was a, there was a there was the a pecan. Almondy, yeah, no, the pecan, uh, yeah, pecan, sure, warm brown butter caramel one. sugar one. That one love. I thought that that was wasn't that bread pudding? I Not sure. I don't loved think that was a cornbread. Though. Loved it. <laughs> this one. That was the cornbread cookie. One of our friends made actual cornbread, two Ooh. different versions of it. Fire. It was insane. Yeah, I don't like spicy also, cornbread. It was like very clear that they were like the adult couple that came yesterday because they like actually made something. And like, don't get me wrong. I am not mad when someone walks in with a box of crumble cookies. Tiff and Matt came with a box of Krispy Kreme donuts. Um, Kelsey and Jared came with a cookie cake and chocolate cupcakes. Like, Oh, you were big on desserts yesterday. Big on desserts yesterday. No wonder you were bloated. Oh, I- I'm not kidding. I, I, you could have rolled me around last night. Yeah, yeah, around Tills the house. Boring? Okay. Yes, I, it was. It, I again, thirty-six weeks pregnant with twins. Yeah, I wonder why we didn't have sex last night. That's why I shot three times today. Okay, well, <laughs> so we're from our sponsor. <laughs> we're from our sponsor, Poopery. <laughs> what? Ew! I've done a brand deal with Poopery. Get out of here! Yeah, you did not do a poop. A Poopery. That's pretty poop-ery. epic. Yeah, a Poopery. You know, whatever pays the bills. Yeah, whatever pays the bills. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm back on track. Did I tell you that Moose got a brand deal? Can we talk about this? Moose got a brand deal with a designer who's doing a collab at Target. So Dude, it's- Can you talk about this? What? Yeah. You just talk about active deal flow sometimes. Why not? That's, uh, okay, go Have ahead. you talked to Moose's manager about this? Yeah. Are you allowed to be talking about this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, got it. All right, go Oh my ahead. God, you guys make me nervous now. I think I can. <laughs> okay. Well, double check. By the time, time this goes out, I'll have already signed the contract and I think we can talk about it. Okay, great. I'm just giving Moose's brain deal no, more, but, more attention. Way, this is great. Yeah, so it's a designer that's collabing with Target. And so Moose gets to indirect, indirectly be a Target dog. Okay, I would like everyone who's watching this to be a part of what would be the most monumental part of my career, Lauren's career, Moose's career. Uh-huh. We need to get Moose to do a guest spot as the actual target dog. I don't even need a guest spot. I would just love for Moose to get a photo next to the target dog. No, no, no. I want there to be like, like I want Moose oh, to have his look moment. look at him. Yeah. Uh, no, I think puppies should be able to be the target so dog. so sweet. I mean, everyone walks up and goes, it's a target dog. Yeah, is everyone, it, is I, that even all white? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's not even all white. Did target have an influence in getting Moose <gasps> in any way? I don't think so. Depends if they're interested in that story being the origin story for Moose. <laughs> Yes, we were we were driving by, and it was a ne- it was a negative fifteen degree day, and we saw little puppies on the corner, uh, stranded and alone. We said, "Is that the target dog?" And then we, of course, saved and rescued him, and now he's here. Right. That's the origin story. That's the origin story. And if you've heard anything else, just keep your fucking mouth shut. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Got it. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. So yeah, <laughs> puppies is um puppies is a star. Yeah. Always a star. So when's the the brand deal going live? Um, I gotta look at the brief. Do, do you think people? I've like I've told our friends many times that like our dog is on paper, actually quite profitable, despite being quite expensive. Yeah. Don't you think that's an, like, what an unrelatable but funny story? Oh my God. Let me, let me, um, I'm gonna do a little, a little cost calculation here to see how many months of food will this pay for for Moose? Oh, okay. Moose's brand deals mm-hmm. will pay mm-hmm. for about 5.5 months, correction, 5.5 years of his food. This, this current, this brand, brand deal? deal, yes. And the other brand deals he's done? Total Moose has paid for his life of food. Whoa. What do you mean his life? His life. He's gonna live forever though. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, great. Of course. I'm just making sure. That's yeah. a famous dog. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. He's- I've seen, did I say in TikTok? Where, um, I've seen this multiple times where people will get laid off of their corporate jobs and they turn their pet into a pet influencer. I mean, because like, especially with TikTok, like there is the most insane animal community on social media. And Back when I was in marketing, everyone would always say, if you can't sell whatever the product is, put it next to food, babies, or puppies. Oh, is that One right? of them will work. Food, babies, or puppies. Like if you can't figure out a marketing idea right. to sell your product just because your product's good enough, right. your brand's good enough, yeah. put the product next to a baby, food, or a puppy. Oh my God, that's the hack? Yeah. That's the hack. And if, if even after that, no one gives a shit about your content, okay. your brand, your product, whatever you put together, Sucks, unbuyable, <laughs> unsellable. Right, if being next to a puppy can't sell it, yeah. 
Wow. Baby's food, huh. puppies. Huh. That's for everybody. It hits right. somebody. Yeah, no, no, I'm thinking about it. It's like, if you if you put, I'm thinking of just like something stupid, like a, like a book. Like if you put a, a book next to a puppy, I would buy it. Baby with glasses, reading the book, but not reading the book. Someone cares about that. So I was gonna say, not quite us, but someone does. Listen, put a book next to a bunch of delicious food and say, treat yourself, read a few pages at the time. Wow, yeah. so, that was good right there. That yeah. was strong, that Listen. was strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Um, so anyways, Moose is uh, the newest um, high roller of the family. Okay, great, <laughs> great. At least one of our careers is going up. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Uh, next. Thank God. <laughs> A few of my first early jobs were scooping ice cream and then also working at a grocery store being a cashier. And growing up, I would always look forward to payday every two weeks, already having like a list of things that I needed or wanted to put that money towards and waiting for that paycheck to hit my account when I had stuff due or just like desperately wanted could be extremely stressful or taxing. And that's why I seriously wish that I had chime then. Fun fact, Lauren found all her ex-boyfriends at that same grocery store. Um, anyway. Damn. So with Chime, you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and generally just feel good about your money situation. But Chime is more than just about getting paid early. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Oh, okay. Also too, 4th of July. We, so we had our own little backyard thing because like one, like I feel like a lot of our friends just like don't, I, I, when this, this happens a lot is that like a lot of our friends will be like, Hey, what are you doing? I don't have plans. And like, if we don't have plans, we're kind of just like, Oh, we have a great backyard. Like come bring drinks and snacks and we'll just like eat and hang out and right. whatever. Um, and so that was, that was, I think the case for like how this 4th of July happened. Yeah, people just like, people didn't want to hang out with us. They just, didn't, they didn't have a better option. Right. Yeah. Right. Right, That's exactly. What you're exactly. And okay. Honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind being. I don't mind being that. Like it could be worse. It could be worse. It yeah. could totally be worse. Collectively, we all ended up here. And so, but for the most part, I feel like all of the cool people that you probably saw on Instagram were at the Revolve um, Fourth of July party, which was at Nobu in Malibu. Oh, okay. And so, in attendance were obviously Miss Romy Ashton. Okay. Obviously, obviously, the number one cool kid. Um, but also Kevin Hart. Okay. Uh, the chain smokers. Mm. Charlie D'Amelio in a photo with Meek Mill, Tristan Thompson, um, Leo DiCaprio was there wearing all black, which is fucking hysterical in an all white party. Like, okay. you know that that was intentional. I think he just always wears black. But there's no way, there's no way. He had to have known. I, probably, but yeah. He had to have known. Okay. Cause he, it's just like, it's a, the juxtaposition between him wearing just like a, a dark hat and glasses trying to look like he's inconspicuous. And then, oh my God, was Michael B. Jordan there too? Wow. That's like half your hall pass list. Yes, seriously. Wow, he looks great there. Yeah, keep scrolling, Devin. <laughs> wow, he looks great. Yeah, we can keep mm. fucking scrolling. He looks great. Anyway. Wow, he looks well, great. Well, he's single now too, so hop looks, on in. He looks great. I know a girl that dated him for a little bit. Okay. Anything to report? Wow, he looks great. He does. <laughs> My issue with like the super crazy fun uh, parties that are thrown in off, like often in LA and New York, mm -hmm. especially in LA is, they are made to be the best Instagram backdrop in the city, for sure. 100%. But as someone who doesn't care about that backdrop yeah. and doesn't want to be asked to take pictures or to take them for mm -hmm. somebody else, mm -hmm. I don't enjoy any part of that. Mm -hmm. And I don't actually enjoy being the literal just like dirt sludge that somehow wound up on the invite list that's just in the way of everybody who babe, like, they babe, want babe, to be babe, 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 Yes. Babe, babe. Mm -hmm. We didn't even make the dirt sludge at the end yeah, of my list. No, no, but to be fair, I know who threw that party. We could have got on it. I know, Point I is, know, I know. I don't want to be the, like, sir, could you just move to the left real yeah, quick? Yeah, I know. Like, that's, that's, it's not that's fun. I'd rather be drunk with my friends, plain bags in my backyard. In the pool. 
cool. Yeah, yeah little it was cornhole. Great. It was cornhole. Little floating little, pong. Little floating pong and cornhole. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, the, the photos looked amazing. It looked, it looked like a great time. But I know exactly the vibe of like what the party was looking yeah, like. Yeah, you know what it was. And I heard that people were like yeeting themselves over like fences and stuff. That it was like there was like a little bit of a fire festival vibe. Also, Nobu in Malibu is in an a area where there is no cell service. No service. There is no parking. Nothing. You are on one street that is in like it, it would have been an absolute shit. Malibu is amazing when you get there, or if you have helicopter money. <laughs> or or if, you, if you have a plane that can land in the water. Of which we have neither. We've neither. neither. So Mel was not for us. No, 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 no. Our backyard was for us. Our backyard just yeah, was for us. Where we get to was be nice and free. front of the list, use the bathroom when we want to. We were we were top, we were top notch mud sludge. What'd you call us? Dirt sludge? Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. So yeah, like yeah, we were cuticle top. leftover. Ew. Oh my God, ew. Uh, ah, I hated next, that a lot. Next. Hated that a lot. Whatever. Um, in other headline news, have you seen any of this stuff with uh, the, 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 oh my God, it's, it's, what's, what's the hashtag minion? Hashtag gentle minions. Hashtag gentle minions. No, but I'd like oh, to be informed. Oh my God. It is. So the new minions movie came out. Okay. And for someone like me who loves Squishmallows and I know and what like you're about to say, you're about, you're about to piss everybody off. I know. I don't. I, I feel very neutral towards minions. Like you Why would think that, I, I don't know. They have no necks. I think. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, they don't have a neck. That's like, it checks off all my boxes of something that you, you think that I would love, but I'm very, I'm very neutral towards them. I don't, I don't hate them, but I, I'm not, I'm not like a minion super fan. Um, Is it because like you just didn't have the nostalgia factor? No, because there's nothing nostalgic about Squishmallows. I didn't have a Squishmallow until I met you. Yeah, I, that's still just, is mind boggling. Yeah. Because now that makes me feel like you've like, this is a, a habit a that thing? Is, has become increasingly a problem since you met me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to discuss this later. <laughs> yeah. I just, okay. So what's the point okay, with this gentleman? Okay, okay. Okay. So at some point, cause I, I went down a deep dive. I was like, where the fuck did this start? So minions commented like the minions TikTok account commented on someone's, uh, someone's TikTok where, uh, okay. I, I gotta, I gotta back up basically like 50 kids. Okay. And when I say kids, I mean like teenage 20 year old men show up wearing full suits and they show up and then go to see the Minions movie just with their crew of like 30 to 50 dudes. Okay. And they 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 walk in. And so I've been seeing, yes, look at like going down the escalator. It's all these dudes in suits. I mean, this is like rush week in a, yes. In a yes. photo. Yes, yes. But literally just going to see the Minions movie. And so the Minions TikTok has been interacting with all of these posts because it, they're like, this is, this is the uniform. This is the uniform. And it has become the most viral thing ever that movie theaters have started banning people who show up in formal attire. That if you're coming to do, if you're yeah, due to recent disturbances following the gentle minions trend, any group of guests in formal attire will be refused entry for showings of minions, but, the rise of Gru. I was like, why do they care? I mean, okay, they've been getting pretty rowdy. Like it, it's, uh, it's, it gets pretty rowdy. Like they're- Really? Fucking- uh, it's, it's gotta be like just a few theaters that are even, cause like it, this is such a good thing for the movie. This, they, they smashed the record. Yeah. yeah. Like Listen, absolutely smashed them. I, anytime I see a group of like 90 fresh off the like rush white boys walking into a crowded theater, actually I am gonna walk out. Well, that's the thing I will say, it feels very fraternity, but all every video I've seen, it's always like, High school, middle yeah, it seems school. Like high school, yeah. No, they're boys. children. Yeah, Frat so boys these are like young boys. This. Yeah, this guy yeah. had to like, hey, dad, can I get a suit so that I can right. go do right. this? Or like, yeah. can I get my grade eight prom suit, my jacket? Yeah. Yeah. Eighth grade, go on. Um, What? Eighth grade. Grade eight? Yeah, my grade, grade eight, my grade eight, yeah. my grade eight. Yeah. Um, and so Mr. Beast just did it where he bought out the entire theater. And so I don't know where he rounded up all these people, but they had to be in like the white collared shirt. Why, is, why does he not have shoes on? What? Why does he not have shoes on? They not have shoes on? Ew. Oh my Ew. God, he doesn't have shoes on. Did you realize? We didn't notice that. That's so funny. Ew, bare Ew. feet on a why? movie carpet. That's so nasty. No, no shoes, no, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Except for when you buy out the whole theater. See, I no, no, no. I would have kept- Wait, no, that Jimmy, makes no Jimmy, you've got to go. Everybody else can stay. Right, right, right. No shoes, no service. Unless I don't understand the no shoes thing. I no, don't want to see I don't think that's your a... feet. If I'm not in your house, yeah. I don't want to see your feet. And even if I'm in your house, I don't want to see them, but I'm in your house. Wait, also the floor of a theater is that's sticky and gross. The floor of the theater is so nasty. It's almost worse that it's carpet because you know the shit that just gets baked into those like theater carpets. Oh God. Also, I would have just loved to see like the casting call that he put out to like round up all these people to be like, who wants <laughs> To, who has a white shirt in Honestly, North Carolina who wants to see Minions tonight? I think it would have been my 
Oddly God. simple. Literally, yeah. Hey, we're all going to go here. Oh, this is the easiest video he's ever produced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out of all of the ones he's done, 100%. This really is the key, though. This probably cost, I don't know, a few thousand dollars. Nothing that crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And bing. Also, it's interesting because, like, he doesn't usually jump on these types of trends. No. You know what I mean? Like, he usually only does, like, the big, big league stuff. Well, good for him. Mr. Beast, just being a gentleman, Ian. Look at that. Just being an absolute gentleman. But, yeah, it's Gen Z is... Like, okay, th th I'm still, this this trend still makes no sense. Someone, I don't know where it started, showed up in a suit. The Minions TikTok account said Minions yes. Minions Rise of Alphas. Oh, fucking. Was that, no, was that a frat? No. Uh, rise no. of what? Uh, it, that is, those are not alphas. These I can tell you right now. School. Oh yeah, Rise of Gru, that's the movie. I, I mean, I haven't seen the movie. And so the Minion TikTok account keeps commenting on it, being like, this is the uniform. Yes, this is the uniform. And so people just keep doing it. Okay, what are the, what are the headphones we got? Headphones, headlines we got. Who is the new most followed person on TikTok? Oh my God, but this is old news. Cabby Lane? Yeah. I know this is actually crazy because it, like everyone I feel like on our side of the internet and like entertainment, like not side of the internet, but like, like you, who is this man with half of America following him? Literally right. half America. So he is um, huge internationally as well too. Not that Charlie D'Amelio isn't, but like he absolutely crushes. Uh, so what's his content? What's his brand? What's the shtick? Here, you can watch one of them. So basically, you know- um, Dragon Ball Z cup, cool. You know, you know like a uh, five minute, five minute crafts? Yeah. Like, or when you see people do something really intricate and hardcore, like really, he basically like takes the main point of like any piece of content and finds a way to simplify it. Okay. So like, for example, that last one that we just watched was like someone pushed over all those dominoes and it was a whole thing to make a cookie go into milk yeah. where him and Ed Sheeran were just like, well, why don't you just do it like this? You drop the cookie into milk. That's literally like the theme of all of his content. And it goes so insanely viral. But I think it's because, and like, I've heard this about action movies too, that action movies do really well internationally because there's very little dialogue. Oh. That you have to translate is that I think oh. his content because it can be with zero audio and it doesn't have to be oh, translated. We're on mute right now and I get it. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly, you know exactly what's happening. All right, cool. Good for him. Keep crushing it, big guy. Oh my God, I thought his shirt had the crypto.com logo on it. I was like, oh my God, people look at no, you. No, no, no. They actually, they, uh, a competitor just signed him. Oh, I saw that. Oh my God, I saw that. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's the logo. And we're not going to show that because no, no free promo. No, no, no. No None free of that. promo. None of that. We do promo for a price though. <laughs> nope, not that. We, we do competitor not, promo for a certain price. Not them. <laughs> So there's this new social media app that I know that you won't get on because I know that this is just too much for Be you. real. Be real. Hey, be hey. real. Hey, do, you have any, do you have anything else to talk shit about? What if I already had to be real? Because I would know. What about an NGL? Not gonna lie. I don't think that's- Th That's another thing you can ask on Instagram. I've seen it. Anyway, keep going. Oh yeah, yeah, that's like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah look yeah, at, yeah. fucking me, relevant. Go ahead. Look at you, look at yeah. you, you little influencer. Yeah. Come on. It's fine. Stop. Come on. Get out of here. So Be Real is this, and again, not sponsored, but could be, but I would, I would just, you know, like Moosh's got a brand deal and like I would also love a brand deal. <laughs> okay. Um, but this app Fuck, is Maybe called, I want a fucking brand deal. <laughs> this app is called Be Real and I actually like it, but I've been stressed out all day about it. So basically it is um, this app where you are, it prompts you at some point during the day, you have two minutes. Oh, I was literally, I, I experienced this. The guy who was moderating my panel on VidCon had his bead reel go off <gasps> right as he was about to go on stage and you missed it. <gasps> no, 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 so you can do it afterwards. You can do it afterwards. It just, it just posts it like, so for example, like ours went off the moment that Devin was like walking in. I'm gonna download this right now. And he was like, he was like, how was your trip to Canada? And I was like, uh -uh. Uh, maybe real, uh, maybe real. <laughs> and like, I like couldn't even function because I was like, I, I was waiting for it all day because, okay, so it basically prompts you at one point during the day and it's not the same time every day. And you basically post a photo. It prompts you to be like, take a picture of what you're doing right now. And so you can't like filter it. You can't like fake it or whatever. And it takes a picture using the, both the front and the back camera. That's stressful. Right, which is kind of stressful. Do you like see it before it goes out? Like you, Tap it and, oh no, no, you do, you do. You can retake the photo before you post it. Say, this can be yeah, some this embarrassing be like incriminating. things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then, so just like you missed that posting window, it gives you that two minute posting window. It'll just say like, oh, this person posted 22 minutes late. This posted person, this person posted like an hour later. And then you can like react and comment on other people's photos for the day. And then it just like restarts the next day, but it's always at a different time. So on 4th of July, that shit went off at like fucking 7 a.m. 
And everyone's like, everyone's like, oh, this person, person posted four hours late. Cause like, bro, we are sleeping. I was actually at the gym, but most people on their holiday, again, of celebrating the beginning of July and, and nothing else. Now that I haven't caught it yet, but what is the point? To be real, babe. Got it. Okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. To be real. I get it. Your no. friends for real. Yeah, no, totally. I'll have nine people. Simultaneously out capture and share a photo no. in two minutes. Lauren, I'm about to be real right now. And so anyways, I've been anticipating when it's going to go off all day. And it was so late. It was at like 8.15. You should have just yelled at me, be real. Be real. I know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you knew what a be real was. Yeah. Cause I, I basically, I have like seven friends on it now. About to, you're about to have eight. Babe, this is so exciting. I love this for you. Is it something that you think you're going to be able to like keep going with though? Oh, I'm like so a, excited. You got so many apps already. I know, you know. I know. I said this about Wordle too. I've been doing Wordle for eight months. Wow. Every day. Wow. That's impressive. Haven't missed a day. Yeah. And I kind of like like these little little things. You know what I mean? Like it's like a once a day thing and then it's done. Yeah. That's like nice. my wordle is like when I do my, I like look forward to like midnight strikes. If I'm still awake, I'm like, oh my God, my wordle. Yeah. And then my wordle's done for the day. And then the be real, I mean, I was anticipating it all day because I was like, oh shit, like when's it going to happen? Um, which is definitely the opposite of what they're trying to go for in making a social Ooh, media app. That's Alex Wasabi to be. wants to be my friend. Fun. That is so exciting. I did. That is so exciting. <laughs> Are you doing it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. ah! So a picture takes a picture of you and me. Do you do it? It only looks like it's taking a picture of you. What? Got careful, it's using the other camera as well too. <laughs> Why can't I see it? It's in the corner. Oh god damn it. So then if you tap, yeah, okay. Wow, boomer over here. Let's go, boomy. Okay, location off. My come on, only. come on, boomy. Come on, Boomy. Send. Come on, Boomy. I know I have 15 friends on Be Real and it's Bam. very exciting. Ooh, what does it look like? Oh, so excited. Okay, great. Well, don't add me on Be Real because, you know, it's not like that. But, you know, <laughs> on a, it's great. It's fine. No, I like it. I'll it's never like, do it again. It's it's, it's, you're never going to do it again? Maybe I will. I don't know, Lauren. We'll find out. It sends you like a pretty urgent like notification. Like I was, I thought that like, what it- do you do? Okay, you took three shits today. Yeah. What happens if you get it mid shit? Well, it doesn't take me two full minutes to shit, so- well, good for you. But yeah. also like, be real. Like, Yeah, be real. Take, I'm shitting. So yeah. So take a picture of the really? wall in front of you. Yeah. I guess we'll only the, have- And? Like, it's just 14 of like my real friends. Okay. You have 14 friends. What? So me, your mom. Devin. Okay. That's it. 11 more? Yeah. yeah that's what we thought. Moose. Moose, yeah. 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 Three, they're three, all, they're three all moose they're accounts. All three moose yeah, burner accounts. Moose burner accounts, yeah. Uh, accounts. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. Um, what else do you have that come up this month? Anything exciting? Episode um, 100, sex tape coming out. Sex tape coming out. What did we do this weekend? Um, we went to a place that I have been disgr disgruntled and uh, kind of annoyed by. Mm -hmm. That is a place that, that sells engagement rings, mm -hmm. but it was very helpful. It was very helpful. It was very helpful. Yeah. Lauren got to see the thing that she's wanted to see since day one. Mm -hmm. And you feel good about it. And I feel great about it. Yeah. So I feel like we made some final style decisions. You, you, you think you've made final like style decisions? No, I have. I for sure have. Well. I definitely have. I buy the ring, so. What? <laughs> but I won. Right, so the final decision is actually the one that I make. E even worse than, you were like, you were giving clear instructions. You saw exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And we and ended up with And then you this. didn't do that. Yes. You got a pear shaped in <laughs> silver. This diamond looks like a penis. I just want to know why. And that's super exciting. Um, but yeah, so we looked at some different bands and you know what someone actually gave me um, the advice was, was that like when they, they're getting, they're getting married soon and they were like, I wish that I had thought about the wedding ring that I will be wearing with wedding my- Wedding band. The wedding band that yeah. I'll be wearing with my engagement ring. And I didn't even fucking think about that. It's full package. Didn't even think about it. Now you are. And she was like, I wish I had thought about that when I was like picking out engagement rings. Well, Lauren, we have gone through many options now. We really haven't. We haven't, okay, we haven't been through that many, but I feel like we've been through enough that you've liked and didn't like to be like, ooh, okay, got it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's been really difficult to like try on like actual different styles. It's been very difficult. At, at, for everyone being broke, it certainly seems like everyone's buying things. Seriously. Yeah, Seriously. so figure it out, America. Figure it out, America. Yeah, so, you know, we'll be engaged this time, 2033. Mom DIY is gonna kill you. She doesn't mind if we don't get married. Let's be clear. Yeah, that's true. She doesn't really mind. She, she was just an offspring. Childs. She was just like an offspring. Chillins. When we were in Canada, um, I have never seen my mother more in grandparent mode. We Every single outing aside from the escape room was dog friendly, which is like my ideal. Like that, that's all I want life right. to do dog friendly things. Like if I don't want to do it, if Moose can't come. Once again, I was shocked we didn't get there and that crib wasn't already just set up. Just set like, up well, I figured we'd just like, yeah. you know, get just, one. It was just, on just sale. In case. Yeah. yeah. I figured I'd just get one ahead, you know, just, just in case. <laughs> just in case. 
crazy. And my know. friends have like children. They want to just like it's drop really crazy. off. Yeah. Um, but we did like a few different wineries. Moose loves wineries. Yeah, Moose loves anything with a, a, a kitchen. But anything, Moose loves anything with a kitchen. Yeah. Moose loves, we did some wine tasting. Yeah. I just, it's gonna be such a bitch to travel with children, like legitimate children. When I see people traveling with like three kids, four kids. Nah. Again, this is what I've always said. I don't want to be outnumbered. I don't want to be outnumbered. It just looks so difficult. It looks so chaotic and it looks so stressful. Like I know that people who grew up in big is families. Is there okay? Is there like an app we can just like download one and then the moment they turn 18, that will take them? It's called college. Yeah. And it but costs I, like, let's 80 do, grand a year. Let's do like age one through, I don't want to do zero to one. Let's do like one to like five. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when they start talking back, being mobile and shit, we'll see you at 19. You know <laughs> that like our kid who's going to be sassy as shit, that will come from you. No. That's your fault. No. That's your fault. Cute kid. You? Mm. Adorable. Yeah. Lauren um, was adorable grew all the way into through. her own. <laughs> adorable. It's, adorable. Yeah, no, yeah. Pull up Lord DIY baby. Yeah. Young Lauren Riamaki. <laughs> I can't wait to see what comes up. This is like a year and a half ago. Jesus. Oh, it's oh up. those Whoa. are just from a couple of years ago. Try a like famous try a, people today has that. Lord DIY baby photo. Oh no, we definitely don't need to see that. Teen Lauren Remacky, Jesus Christ. Yeah, also, dude, I Lord was DIY. really like making content when I was a teenager. I guess 19. I mean, Gail's got lots of photos. There oh my God, look at me, I'm fucking adorable. I am adorable. You're, you're cute there. Look how cute I am. You're cute. I'm so cute. Kind of cute. I am. Oh my God, look at your adorable. fucking face. Look at me in the, in the Barney. Look at me in the holding the Barney. I'm adorable. Kind of. Look how cute I am. No, you're like cute. You really Look are. At, there's me and Greg. Yeah, Greg's mustache looking divine. Greg's. Oh. Wow, great no. flow. Is that a you're perm? checking his heart. Is that a perm? No, no, he just has like um wow. like coarse hair like that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow, this is a, quite the assortment of uh, baby photos of me. More than I oh, thought. Can, I, can we get Halloween to the right? No. Oh, no. maybe that's one of the first photos we took. It was. Disneyland. Oh. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Wow, that looks just like you. I'm gonna wear that same costume, but just make it slutty this year. Okay, and on that <laughs> note, Latvia, it was great to hang out with you. We'll see you next week <laughs> when the theme is not looking at our children's Halloween pictures and saying, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, be that, but slutty I think this year. That, I think that I could wear that size now. I'm, I'm not against it. Yeah. But it's fucking, ew, it's fucking weird. Ew, gross, bye, <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs>